Hello, Aries. This will be your love reading for December. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your other placements for more clarity. By the way, my name is Renee. And welcome. Let's see what we have for Aries in love. Okay, Aries, you have renewal. So I think that. If you're not feeling it right now, I feel like you are going to be going through a situation that has you uplifted. I'm feeling like you're down. Yeah, and you have impatience. Okay. At the bottom, you have forgiveness. So yeah, in order to go through this process of renewal, you may have to forgive and just be patient in your situation. Um, it's coming, Aries. It's coming. Let's see what else we have here. What other oracles do we have for Aries? In love. Yeah, great and full. Okay. The number four. At the bottom, we have waking the lion. So, yeah, you need to be strong in this situation. This, this situation, it's coming. If it hasn't came already, if you're not deep within it, then it is coming. And you just have to be patient. You just have to be strong in your situation, Aries. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the tarot has to say. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to use this deck. What do we have for Aries in love? What do we have for Aries in love, please, for December? Okay, four of cups. Yeah, I feel like you are really deep and wanting right now. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the World. Okay. You have the Seven of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay, Aries, at the bottom you have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, I feel like if this situation isn't finding you at the moment, I'm feeling like Spirit is letting you know not to give up. Don't give up on your situation. It's coming. You currently, you, you have the World card here. So you're currently at the end of your cycle. So this situation is coming. You just need to persevere and move through it. Follow your journey. That's what I want to say, Aries. Okay. Now with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you've been daydreaming a lot. I think that you're really overthinking. Um, but you need to have a little bit more patience have a little bit more patience in the situation the universe wants to deliver you what you want and they want to bring you this ten of pentacles but if you're overthinking and your mind is wandering to too many places you may miss your opportunity you may overlook the person that you're looking for so yeah make sure to ground yourself Find your patience, find your, find your, your ground, yourself. In the Ace of Swords, we have the world. Okay, so yeah, once this 
cycle completes, there's going to be a new beginning to your situation. And yet, if you see this, look, the universe is providing you options. So it's coming, Aries. It's coming. And I believe what's coming is going to be very grounded, very solid. I feel like you're not only going to be leading with your heart, you're also going to be making those good decisions with your mind. That's how I'm feeling, Aries. <clears throat> Now, I do see that maybe someone's trying to come back. Someone's going to come back and they're going to offer you some kind of option. They're going to offer you what they feel is a gift. But I don't feel like you're going to view it as a gift. I feel like you're going to you're going to be standing your ground in this situation. I feel like you're going to be very defensive for what they're offering. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely don't feel like it's something that you really want to take advantage of. I feel like you are really trying to stand, stand up for yourself right here. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity on the situation. I'm going to use this one. <clears throat> What do we have for Aries? Let's get a outcome for Aries in love, December. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, so you're definitely going to get an offer, Aries. Your Prince Charming is coming. And I feel like in the situations that you've been through in the past, I feel like this is very, very wanted, very deserved. But I feel like this person is going to come through and they're going to kind of sweep you off your feet, Aries, because you have the lovers that wanted to pop out. So this may be your soulmate connection coming through. And it's coming to you after a lot of doubt, after a lot of maybe relationships that didn't work out. Let's see, this one might come. Yeah, pentacles. Okay, so this person, this person that's coming through to you, I feel like they may give you some type of message. They may slip you a note. They may send you a text. And for some reason, I'm feeling like they're going to send you a text late in the evening. That's how I'm feeling. Now, this may not resonate with all of you, but it will resonate with some. Um, but yeah, they want to give you a balance, a balanced relationship. They want to give you... Um, what you need at the moment, Aries. They want to take care of you. They want to totally take care of you. I feel like this person, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like this person has everything that they need. That's why I feel like the universe don't want you to miss out on your opportunity. Over in Aries. Now let's take a look at these cards and see what messages your person may want to say. <clears throat> what do they want to tell Aries in love for December? What messages do they want to tell Aries in love? Yeah, okay. 
I want to be more than friends. So this may be someone who's coming in and, or maybe they're already your friends. Maybe they're already in your circle, Aries, and they've been having their eye on you for a long time. I wish things could be different. So yeah, I feel like they really want to have you view them as as a soulmate. They want you to view them as a lover, as someone that you can totally depend on. And I want to tell you how I feel. So yeah, I feel like this person hasn't come through yet. I feel like they're kind of blocking themselves. At the bottom they have, I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, so I feel like they're really hiding their feelings. They're really, they're really shy or really reserved. They're, they feel like they may be turned down by you. So they've kind of pushed that back, pushed it behind so that you can't give them that no that they are kind of anticipating. But yeah, this could very well be a soulmate situation here, Aries. This very well could be. So if this is something that you know about right now, I feel like it's something you should take a second look at. Take a second look at the situation. This person wants to be more than just your friend. They want to be your lover. They want to be your helpmate. They want to be your great and full cup. Beautiful reading, Aries. All right, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity of the situation. And many blessings to you, Aries. Love and light.